For those of you that think we've gone too far, you think we've gotten too radical with our message. Well, I got news for you. You ain't heard nothing yet. <laughs> you better put them hands together and act like you know up in here. Chief Pete. When we set out to design the new iMac, there definitely was a tendency for us to be evolutionary. But what, one of the things that was great about the original iMac was that it was so revolutionary. So the new iMac had to be revolutionary too. The easy part was knowing that we were going to use a flat panel display. The hard part was trying to figure out how. Our solution appears to defy gravity. It's just this very simple, pure frame that appears to just float in space. When you look at it now, it seems so simple. It seems so obvious. And yet again, you know, as usual, the simplest, most efficient solution has been the most elusive. This is an iMac on steroids. It has up to an 800 megahertz G4 chip with Velocity Engine, NVIDIA GeForce 2MX graphics, up to one gigabyte of memory, 60 gigabytes of hard drive space, and your choice of a CDRW, Combo, or SuperDrive. The new iMac is the first computer built from the ground up to be the ultimate engine for your digital lifestyle. It has a powerful new operating system and the world's easiest to use applications, iTunes for managing all your music, iMovie for making your own movies, iDVD for creating and burning DVDs, and now iPhoto, the world's coolest digital photography software. iPhoto is a breakthrough in digital photography. It's the first software written to make it easy for you to import all your pictures into the computer, organize thousands of them and find them in a snap, eliminate red eye, and then share them with your family and friends via print, the web, and even a professionally bound book. Apple is the only company that makes the hardware, the operating system, and the software, all completely integrated with Apple's legendary ease of use. This is Sarah. See, she has the, the duck in between her, her feet. Apple is introducing the iPhoto, and I'm introducing Sarah. They're both new little babies. I'm really impressed with what iPhoto can do. It was like magic to have the camera sitting there and just downloading everything right into the computer and to be able to bring up a whole roll and then have all these different ways to, you know, to package it, so to speak. I mean, I love the, um, the little um, the photo book. I mean, that actually is, is what I'm most excited about. I, I think the sensibility is very, very tender and very beautiful. And it is going to be the family photo album the future to be able to create your own little books like that. Oh, how gorgeous is that? I want one immediately. I won't leave without one. The way that iPod and iTunes work together is amazing. I think iTunes and the iPod are perfect examples of, of organic technology. Um, they work with you. You plug the iPod in and you get a replica of what is on your desktop for you to take with you anywhere you please. And it reminds me of something out of 2001 A Space Odyssey or even beyond that, it's, it's, it's perfect. And with iTunes, iMovie, iDVD and now iPhoto, the digital hub seems pretty much complete. I was kind of a boy scientist, so I was always totally convinced that the cinema would be electronic. This little machine I'm looking at is the, uh, uh, the home base of a media factory, and all it needs are a number of pieces of hardware, a still camera, the iPod, a, a digital a moving camera or camcorder. You could make a book, you could 
you can make a presentation, you can make a slideshow. You can make a feature film on this. Why not? Tell the story of your life with stills and things you shoot with your digital camera. There's no limitation. Sooner or later, someone with these tools is going to make a great masterpiece. It's one thing to, to solve design problems. It, it's much, much harder to, to give a, a personality, to give, give, give life to a product. Um, I mean, it, it's much harder, but I mean, it's infinitely more satisfying. Um, and, and I think the new, I think the new iMac has that. It looks like it's a face smiling at you, and it's with this little mouth down here. Incredible. So you're going to leave this here, right? I'm a sucker for things that look really futuristic, and this is about as futuristic as you're going to get. It's beautiful. I look at something like this, I think of, well, I want three million of them, so I can put them you know, with three million young people. <laughs>